Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 68 plate 2018 BMW 230i M Sport with the Auto ZF gearbox. The car is finished in sunset orange metallic. The car has covered 27,116 miles with full BMW service history and it's just one owner from new. Uh, we got the build sheet with this car so we can run through all the additional options on this car. There are just under 6,000 pounds worth of factory fitted options. And since we've taken delivery of the car, we have changed a few things on the car to enhance the look of the vehicle. Now, as always, the car has been machine polished to a very high standard a lot of time is taken to bring the, every panel up as shiny and glossy as we can and take out any little swirl marks from sponges that wash the car over. Now the paint works in beautiful condition, but we'll just run at the front at the moment. So we've actually changed the original grills to black gloss grills. We've changed the wing mirrors and had them painted in black gloss and they've been done very nicely. There's no imperfections on them. The wheels, there was a couple of minor little chips around them. They weren't bad at all, but we decided that we would have them fully repowder, uh, sorry, completely repowder coated. So they're not being just spray painted. The tires come off, they're stripped and then uh, gloss black powder coat on the wheels. I'm gonna start at the front. We've got front and rear parking sensors. And the front bumper is in really nice condition. There are a couple of very tiny little chips on this car, but they are very small. You can see all down the bottom, if I come in close, even the headlights, no pitting on them. If we come up onto the bonnet, with the bright lights above, you should pick up any little tiny little stone chips. Now we've touched them in with the right paint We've uh, allowed the paint to harden with a bit of lacquer, and then we've polished them uh, a day later. So they're very small and they hardly show. There's just one right in the middle there. It's just, they're, they're very small, <laughs> as I've probably said about three or four times now. There's one just there. But if we move across the front of the car, let's make sure this is in focus, there we go. There is nothing nasty. They were literally like little dots, the little chips. They weren't big at all, they were just tiny little dots. If you look at that bonnet, come around this side a bit. Look at the reflection we've got on there. Absolutely beautiful. Windscreen's all in good condition as well. We've got the connective drive camera up there as well. I'll just show you these wing mirrors. See the paperwork I'm holding in my hand, but they've come up really nice as well. I must stop saying as well. And then if you look at the roof, look, no bird dropping stains, no marks or anything. We've got some protection glass at the back, of course. And then the boot lid is all in lovely condition. We've got that very subtle spoiler on the back there. I might as well show you the wheels while we're here. So the wheels, as I say, all fully powder coated, got the M Sport brakes in there. All the tires on the car, by the way, are all in good shape. Look down the side of the car, really nice and straight. Clean panels, door edges. We've got uh, under door. Oh no, not on this model. I thought it had the little LED lights under there, but I think they're at the bottom of the door. You can see just how good the panels are. Obviously the wheel, they've all been done, so all in lovely condition. Let's move back out. Looks absolutely stunning. The sunset orange lends itself so well to the black gloss and because it's got the black gloss shadow line around the windows as well. 
We've also got rear camera on this car. And then what we've fitted at the bottom here is the M Performance diffuser at the bottom. And if you wanted to go a step further, you could change the stainless steel tips and put black ones. We've left the badges on the car, but we, if you wanted to, we could take those off for you. All of the back bumper in really nice condition. I think there was a couple of little, just right on the very edge here, there was a tiny little bit we touched in. It was very minor. As you can see, all in really nice condition. Let's try and get this back in focus. And then looking down the side of the car from here, all up around the filler cap. We'll open that up. And this car will run on not just the E10 fuel, if I can get that in focus, but E25, the higher, I think it's ethanol fuel. Come back out and show you this side of the car. What great color this is. And then that wing mirror. Sorry, it's so bright in here, but there's no, no imperfections. That's come up really nice. You can cheat and just cover them with um, wrap. And you can buy cheap ones on eBay, but you put them on the car, you think they're black and they look brown. We have them properly black gloss painted. It gives exactly the same finish as what's already on the car then. Looking really nice. So this car, um, being the 230, is around about 248 brake horsepower, or just over 250, I think 254 or 252 PS. Really stunning looking car. So let's take a look inside. So the black Dakota leather was an option, which had to be paid for on this model. All of the door card in really nice condition. There's no damage. Really clean under there. We've also got the M Sport Plus package on this car. That gave you the M Sport brakes, the sun protection glass, Harman Kardon, and high beam assist. Whoops, let's go back in there. So we've got additional speakers under the seats as well. All of the black gloss, uh, sorry, all of the black leather seats are in really, really nice condition. And we've got lumbar support and bolster. So the bolsters will blow up the bits on the sides and then the lumbar support in the middle. That was another option. All of the mats and carpets are in lovely condition. We've got the professional media inside the car, an additional speaker up on the dash in front of it. Heated seats, that was another extra. I'll just come in a bit closer from this side. Whoops, there we go. I'll show you more when we come around the other side as well. And then we've got through load system in the back. So these seats drop down to give a bit more practicality. You've got center armrest there as well. Isofix, of course. Cars come up so nicely. Okay, let's take a look in the boot. As I say, we've got this spoiler on the back. And if you wanted the badges taken off, we can do that. There's the rear camera. It's not often you get both front and rear parking sensors and a camera. Just look how lovely and clean the car is. If 
first aid kit and you can see that the seats drop down there's some handles at the top you pull the 60 40 split quite a good size boot actually and i'll just take you in and show you just under the carpet there the battery toolkit Warning triangle, close that down. I'll show you that uh, rear diffuser from this side. And while we're down here, let's have a look up underneath and just show you how nice and clean this car is all over. Door edges, no chips. No scratches. If we open this up, let's just turn those lights off for a second. Driver's door card. Again, no damage. And the seals. No scuff marks. There's Apple CarPlay on this car as well. It's just telling us that the battery is getting low because we've had the car open most of the day, finishing it. Let's just check out the seat. So again, we've got the bolster and the lumbar for this front seat. All of the leather in really nice condition. The Amphrasite, Dark black sort of headlining as well. And then we've got collision warning is that, bot uh, that button at the bottom with, steer uh, with braking intervention. So it'll brake for you. Voice control, full black panel display, which I'll show you when we jump in. And then we've got the adaptive cruise control with stop and go function. Whoa. Eight speed ZF gearbox, drive modes, heated seats, the pro media. There we go, it's a bit better, isn't it? Let's jump in because I can't uh, balance so well there. So let's get this back in focus. Okay, let's just drop the handbrake. Don't we? So that circle down at the bottom there, just above the mileage, that is speed limit display. So whichever road you're on, it will display the speed limit of the car. By pressing the mode button on the right hand side of the steering wheel, in fact, let's flip the lights back on and just turn that up yeah so pressing the mode button we've got the dab you can run through with the wheel on the, that side of the steering wheel fm am music collection is the 80 gig hard drive save stations and then once your phones connect you can run through the telephone if you use the drive modes they'll all come up on there as well currently in eco pro so just put it in the comfort just showing you there and then if we come up onto the top here this is the pro media touch screen oh. let's try and get a happy medium of light and we can move whoops we can move these all around sorry i meant to do this you can change what order they're in. We can use the wheel. Now, did we put the, oh, the lights are on now. Okay, I've got it turned up. And then we've got the air conditioning there. All the radio buttons. 
cup holder, the gear stick for the ZF gearbox. I've got my foot slightly on the accelerator there, I've just realised. Drive modes, parking sensors. So if we go into reverse, we've got the rear camera. If we use the iDrive wheel and come over to the left here, we can put the obstacle marking on, etc. We can change the brightness, etc. Or you can turn that off and just have parking sensors like so. We can have both. So we come out of there, got the media. And then if we come down, I can never remember. Oh, okay, I remember now. Uh, let's just jump back into the map a minute. Now it's on split screen, so over here when it's on split screen you can change the smaller screen. You've got all these different options. Your media, so you can have media and map. We come out of there and then we'll go into media now. Sorry, what am I doing? Wrong one. Uh, manage mobile devices and then over here you can see it's got the Apple CarPlay already installed. If we come out of there and go in what communication, connected drive services, so I think the online entertainment which was uh, specced on it from new has just run out the subscription and then this is where we've got all of the um, controls in here, options on the car intelligent safety warning point this is the anti-collision you can change how close you get before it interacts speed warning vehicle tracking change the lighting in the car interior lighting it's on sport that's actually changed that to classic so we can see it come out of there doors intelligent safety we've done speed warning okay and then i drive all your display settings driver profiles, vehicle status. If we go down here, this is the servicing. Brake fluid's not due for another year. Oil service has just been done. Front brake pad's got 17,000 miles. It's a vehicle check. It's just been done. Uh, rear brake pad's 48,000 miles. Flip up to the top. And this will be the pre-delivery check. And then the next one's usually oil and microfilter. Brake fluid and a vehicle inspection. And then engine oil, microfilter, air cleaner, spark plug. So everything's just been done on that big service there. So that was done oh, a month ago. So all up to date. Drive modes, we'll just come back up here again. We've got the Eco Pro for the efficiency, the coasting in there. So when you come off the throttle, the car will just carry on rolling rather than engine brake to give you better fuel economy. Comfort for a balance setting. Sport and the sport display. Sorry, I've got my foot pushed down next to this accelerator. And then we've also got Sport Plus, which turns off part of the traction control. Now, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We've also got USB in there. The iDrive wheel here, which you can also write on. So if I go into navigation, come down to address input, I can write on the top of there, Three. And a space if you need one. Space. A line like so. Five. Oh. It even wow. does my handwriting. There you go. And that's where we are. And if we go into map, I always like to point out all the sub menus down the side here. And then in direction of travel, you can change the view. Let's just try and zoom out so we get a better view. 
Now, again, these can be saved on these shortcut buttons. So you can save that window on there, and then you can save the other view on number eight. So at the press of a button, you can flick from that view to that view. You can also save telephone numbers in there as well and some of the other windows. Not all of the windows for some reason, but most of them. Uh, we've done, what do we do in the glove box? We've got all the books in there. Sorry, it's very bright outside. The light's coming through the doorway. But the car's in lovely condition all round. Oh, the, that's what I wanted to show you. Now, obviously we're not going along. Let's just take it out of... So basically, when you turn on the cruise control, you've got those lines above. No, it's not gonna work. But using, let's get this in focus. Using these buttons here, you'll get a line come up here. I think it's all blocks. And you can adjust the distance that you want to stay behind the car in front. So as that car slows up and you've, so you're cruising at 70 miles an hour and you've set the distance behind that car, if that car slows down, the cruise control will slow the car down and keep that distance. And as it speeds up again, it will um, come back up to the same speed. So a really nice feature. I've just realized I'm in reverse as well. Right, let's jump out. Two pulls to open the bonnet. Got the car running. And just pull the bonnet up now. And this is our twin scroll turbo charged four cylinder engine. Again, like the 430i, this can be remapped to a 280 brake horsepower with Celtic tuning. What a lovely clean engine bay that is. It's come up really nice. Around. I'm going to take some pictures of the car. We're running short time today, but that gives you a good look. And if we look up under here, beautiful and clean. Such a sharp car. We don't have a lot of stock, but the stock that we have is really nice. So, as I say, six thousand pounds worth of options. We've just done the wheels, you know how much it costs the powder coat wheels, it's not cheap. We've put the diffuser on, all the wing mirrors, covers. It's come up really lovely, look at that. We've got lots of finance options, lease purchase, PCP, hire purchase. We've got some fantastic extended warranties. You can take a warranty up to four years. So if you were taking out finance, why not? cover that time with a good warranty. The warranty that we can provide, um, the extended warranties that you pay a bit extra for, you can go into the main dealer to have the work carried out. It even covers oil seals and gaskets. It's a fully underwritten policy, so please call me. It's much, much better value than the used BMW policy. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Just get a little view from the side here before we stop. Please phone me with any questions. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.